The Little Beauty and the Kind Beast Once upon a time, in a vast kingdom covered with fragrant flowers and sparkling lakes, there lived a young girl named Lila. Lila had a heart full of dreams and eyes that sparkled with kindness. Everyone in the kingdom knew her as Little Beauty because of her compassionate nature. In the deepest corner of the forest stood a grand castle, veiled by a dense curtain of thorny bushes. Whispers about the castle filled the air. People said a beast lived there, cursed to remain in his monstrous form until someone could look beyond his exterior and recognise his kind heart. One day, Lila's father, a kind merchant, lost his way in the forest. As night descended, he stumbled upon the castle and decided to take shelter. Inside, he was welcomed by animated objects, a talking clock, a friendly teapot and a singing candlestick. They served him a feast and provided a cosy room. As he was leaving the next morning, he plucked a single rose from the castle's garden to take back to Lila. Suddenly the beast appeared, angered that the merchant had taken his most treasured possession. For taking my rose, the beast growled, you must stay here forever. When Lila learned of her father's predicament, she bravely journeyed to the castle offering herself in his place. The beast accepted, setting the merchant free. Initially, Lila was scared, but she soon realised the castle's magic. The talking objects shared the beast's story with her. He had once been a proud prince, but due to his arrogance, a sorceress had transformed him. The rose he cherished was a magical one, and it would fully wilt on his 28th birthday. If he hadn't found true love by then, he'd remain a beast forever. As days turned into weeks, Lila began to see the kindness and loneliness hidden behind the beast's fierce exterior. They read together, danced in the grand ballroom, and watched the stars from the tallest tower. With each passing day, their friendship grew. One day, Lila received news that her father was gravely ill. The beast, with a heavy heart, let her go, giving her the magical rose as a reminder of their time together. Lila hurried to her father, nursing him back to health. While her father recovered, the rose's petals began to fall. Missing her friend and realising her deep affection for him, Lila rushed back to the castle. She found the beast on the terrace, weak and heartbroken, the last petal about to fall. Lila cried, Please don't leave me. I've come to realise that I love you, not for how you look, but for the kind soul you possess. As the words left her lips and a tear fell onto the rose, a magical swirl enveloped the beast. When the light faded, the beast was gone, and in his place stood a handsome prince. The curse was broken. The kingdom rejoiced as the prince, once lost but now found, celebrated his newfound freedom and the love he had discovered in Little Beauty. They ruled the kingdom with fairness and love, reminding everyone that true beauty lies within. And thus, in a kingdom of fragrant flowers and sparkling lakes, love conquered all, teaching every heart to see the beauty that lies beneath. Thank you for watching, and if you have enjoyed the story, don't forget to like and subscribe for more.